Hello and thank you for visiting strobesmore.com. My name is Lewis and this morning I'm going to make you a quick video of how to synchronize, set your flash pattern and um, set up a, a, a desired flash pattern, in this case what's called the X pattern, on four E-series, E4, E3 series uh, super LED lights. Uh, before I do that I just want to mention a couple quick uh, tech things. First of all, don't bench test unless you absolutely positively know what you're doing. Most lights that come back here that we have to refuse for warranty were bench tested and damaged. Uh, battery chargers, you know, batteries sitting on your workbench, jump boxes. Uh, you know, it's okay for us to use them here. We know what we're doing. We've been doing this for a very long time. Please don't do it at home. Install them per the instructions and follow the instructions to the letter. Also, one other thing I'm going to mention are two other things. Keep your wires as long as possible. If you snip your wires way down and you send the light back to us and it, it's fine, it works fine and we send it back to you and it only has a half inch of wire left, uh, unfortunately we're not going to replace the light because you cut the wire too short and we're seeing a lot of that nowadays. Guys like to snip the wires right up to the back of the light. Leave them long. The other thing is don't heat shrink all these wires together coming off the back of the light. Believe it or not, when you're heating up all that heat shrink, you're actually affecting the solder inside the light. We've seen a lot of lights come back damaged because they've been heated up so much and tightened up with the shrink wrap that you're damaging the wire. You'll, you'll know it's getting hot. If you hold the end of the wire while you're heat shrinking it and you can't hold it, then it's, it's, you're putting too much heat to the light. Anyway, um, the E3 series have 12 flash patterns. I'm only going to set it on a couple here. I have all the lights run to power, all the lights run to ground, so they're flashing. It's all you need with our lights, power, and ground. I've also connected the low power, so hopefully it doesn't affect the camera that much this morning. And I'm going to go to what's called on our box here is the quad flash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this light and I'm going to scroll through and I'm going to find the flash pattern that's steady. So there's a steady. I know the next one is off. The next one is a burst flash. The next one's the burst flash alternating, and then I'm at my quad flash, okay? I'm going to take this light over here. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go through till I find my steady burn flash pattern. So there's my steady burn. I know my next pattern is off, and my next one's the burst. Next one's the burst alternating, and then I'm at my quad flash. So now I do this with all four of my lights. I'm going to stack them up here. So all four of my lights should be set to the same flash pattern. Now I'm going to synchronize my lights. I'm going to take the, the yellow sync wires and I'm going to connect them all together. The reason you don't want to have these connected while you're searching for the flash patterns is because the lights are going to try and synchronize while you're searching for patterns and you're going to get thrown off. So it's easier to set them and then go. So as you can see here, all four lights are doing the same flash pattern. Now I want the X pattern. So I want one light on top and the other light on bottom to flash at the same time and then vice versa. So I want these two to alternate with these two. Right now I have all four flashing at once. So I'm going to take the top one on this side over here and I'm going to advance that one pattern to the quad flash alternating if you look on the box. So this one here I'm going to take flash pattern wire I'm going to alternate it. So now you can see those two there alternating. When I hold them up you'll see it a little better. I'm going to take the bottom one on the other side that I want to alternate and I'm going to skip that one ahead, one pattern. So now, when I hold up these lights, so now you can see I have what's known as the X pattern. So I have two, top and bottom on one side, alternating with the top and bottom on the other. And that's all there is. It's not very hard. Um, it's a little difficult and tricky to understand. Uh, but once you get the lights installed and you just stand back and you look at it, it it's not, not too hard to understand. Now what you want to do once you've set your flash pattern, if you're going to leave it on this flash pattern, then we ask that you just cap the, the blue flash pattern wires, okay? Um, tape them, just fold them over, put a little heat shrink on them, or uh, put a butt connector and seal it. Take all your synchronized wires, seal those together. So from one set of lights or each individual light, they're all tied together. Again, your power and ground is all you need to make the lights work. And if you're not going to use a low power, again, cap that wire. Don't cut it down short. Leave it long. Just fold it over. Tape it. Seal it. Just, just secure it so it can't touch anything. 
if you're going to take the lights and you want to put them to a flash pattern switch which I'm going to do here now I'm going to demonstrate for you so I'm connecting all my flash pattern wires together keep in mind that when you're doing an alternating pa flash pattern like this they're, they're going to synchronize every other pattern and the reason is if you just look at the box you have some lights now on two of your lights are on the regular quad flash pattern three the next one's up to number four which is a quad flash alternating when you advance them one's going to go to the alternating and the next one's going to start the next pattern so you have to go every two patterns so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to take these I'm going to advance one and they're not really going to they're going to match up because of the pattern there's one and there's the other one so now they're back they're back to alternating so every two patterns will alternate so keep that in mind if you have them all flashing together at the same time every pattern will sync up because they'll be in line but you're staggering them on the box two of them are doing one pattern two of them have skipped down to the next one which is the same pattern essentially but in the phase two it's alternating it's that way with all the manufacturers so um, if you get confused take a break grab a cup of coffee and just come back in a few minutes and just uh, think it through it's uh, not very hard if you have any need any assistance please feel free to give us a call here at strobes and more we'll be glad to help you out my name is lewis thank you very much for visiting our site and again um, if you have any questions feel free to give us a call thank you